So I wanted to make a video on some of the eyepieces that I have. Uh, I did not find many videos on YouTube about uh, many of these eyepieces that are available in the market to show how big they are, just how they look in, in the hand, um, how much they weigh. Um, I thought it's useful to go beyond just the photos um, that people upload uh, either on the forums like Cloudy Nights or uh, in the advertiser um, um, in, in the magazines or if you're buying online then you know at least for me it, it, it helps to have a, a somebody holding them in the hand and showing you at least what the build quality is like how much they weigh and stuff like that so this is this video is all about that um, I'll begin with the low end of the spectrum uh, this is a 20 millimeter GSO Superview Plazel decent for the price cost about 30 bucks new uh, optically not the best but for low power views just to get oriented in the sky before you put in the high magnification eyepiece it's fairly good um, it's not as sharp uh, away from the center uh, which is called um, off axis sharpness it's not very good actually um, but it does the job in finding the, the object you want to uh, look at in the telescope and so I've, I've hung on to it it's um, it's just a finder for me uh, moving on actually so while we are talking about a 20 millimeter uh, eyepiece this is also a 20 millimeter eyepiece but as you can see it's a completely different beast so this cost $30 or so, $35 new, it weighs about 140 grams. But this guy is a discontinued eyepiece. It's a Nagler Type 2, 20mm, 2 inch wide. Um, so contrast is so much better. Uh, the field of view is very large, it's an 82 degrees apparent field of view. And also very heavy. It's, uh, over the kilo as you'll see yeah kilo and 50 grams so, so fairly massive eyepiece and um, so once you have an eyepiece like this it does cause balance problems on the scope so it's something to to keep in mind i use this eyepiece fairly often i like this eyepiece um, it's like a window because of the wide field of view and the views are very contrasty and very sharp to the edge so I'm very happy with this guy. Um, continuing on the low end of this, by the way, this is a discontinued IPS and yet it costs about over $200 used. So um, it's, on, it's on the expensive side. Um, this is a 9mm BSD uh, sold by Agena Astro. Uh, I used to have a Nagler Type 1 9mm and I sold it because this is better. Uh, so I could see the bands on Jupiter better in this uh, compared to the Nagler Type 1. And of course the Nagler Type 1 is a, it can be used in a 2 inch um, barrel as well. Um, I don't think it has any um, massive advantage. Uh, I mean yeah, it, it does have 82 degrees speed of view. Um, so this thing, this eyepiece only has 55 degrees, but the, the contrast is much better. So I, I, I much prefer this. I actually sold my Nagler Type 1. Um, they go for around $50 or so. This is an eyepiece I got used. It's a 6mm TMB. Not very heavy. It's about the same as the Star Guider. Um, they're both fairly the same weight. Um, the field, I mean, the view is not terribly um, exciting I mean it, it's a narrower field of view maybe in the 50s apparent field of view uh, but does the job on the on the low scale on the low on the on the scale of um, uh, prices this is pretty good for the price uh, moving on there are two of these eyepieces which are very good build quality these are the Orion edge ons uh, I think they're mostly used for given the short focal length, the 6mm and the 3mm. Um, probably better used for planets and of course the name itself implies um, planetary. Um, field of view is very narrow, 55 degrees and I am actually thinking of selling these because I, I much prefer the wide fields of view when I'm looking at a planet at high power 
uh, my mounts are not automatic so I have to keep manually adjusting them and finding uh, the planet as it moves across the field of view uh, it's easier in a wider uh, field of view eyepiece so although these are pretty good lightweight you put a 6mm on about 225 3mm is about 250 grams so fairly lightweight it makes for a good travel kit um, but I'm planning to sell these and maybe just stick to uh, wider eyepieces and for reference I have the 30mm uh, ethos uh, excellent eyepiece um, 100 degrees field of view 13 millimeter um, yeah it's really it's, it feels like you're swimming in space uh, with that wide of field of view um, you don't see the whole field at the same time uh, something to note so you have to move your head from side to side um, trying to see as much of the field as possible um, but in general I think the, the view is much um, pleasing to see so much of the sky at once and it's all very sharp very contrasty so although this cost me more than four fifty dollars or so used it's pretty good i think eyepieces are really you don't you don't buy eyepieces every day so one good eyepiece bot can last essentially a lifetime if you care for it properly um, i'll make a separate video about um, some of the other eyepieces i have i have the stellar view optimus series as well and uh, maybe do a side by side with the ethos uh, the Teleview type 2 Nagler and the Optimus eyepieces oh um, I forgot to mention the Barlow's this is a Teleview 2x Barlow so it's fairly small actually I mean I when I bought it online I thought this will be very large um, very long in length but it's actually fairly small and um, lightweight uh, that's a Teleview wide field 24mm discontinued eyepiece but excellent I almost used this over the 20mm series plus sorry the uh, GSO plus um, the wide field is much sharper as you go away from the center of the field of view um, excellent low power eyepiece it's got over 60 degrees of field of view so really good um, that is a Celestron 2x Barlow. I'm going to definitely sell this since I got the Teleview now. Um, weighs about 150 grams, so not too heavy. Um, I also have some small scopes here. Uh, the first is the Stellar View 60mm uh, Apo, so the SV60 EDS. Um, without an eyepiece, it's weighing nearly 2 kilos, and I was surprised because I also had the Teleview Nagler, sorry, the Teleview, the Teleview Ranger. This is a old telescope, discontinued, no longer made. 70 millimeter ED doublet, and it actually weighs less than the than the 60 millimeter Teleview. Yep, so I was surprised. Um, makes for a great grab and go scope, both of them actually. Yeah, but 70 millimeters gets a bit more light, and also the focal length is longer. So um, it helps for viewing planets at higher magnification. That is just achieving higher magnification is easier the longer the focal length of the telescope. And that is the case with the Ranger. Uh, finally, of course I'll make a separate video on two of the other refractors I have. Um, I also wanted to show you the Pentax 65mm spotting scope that I use for bird watching with the 14XW uh, eyepiece. And again, it's a, the point of this video is really to do a side by side on how big these eyepieces actually are compared to some of the others. So for example, that's a Teleview, sorry, that's a 20mm GSO. Pentax is quite a bit bulky and heavy. And that's a Ethos, um, a 13mm Ethos, 14mm XW Pentax. The Pentax actually is superb. Um, I just got the Ethos because I almost never take out the X, the Pentax from the scope, and so my scope is always ready to go, um, fully assembled. It's usually on the tripod as well. So yeah, I don't want to keep taking off eyepieces and 
replacing them for astronomy in the night. Uh, and also the, the ethos has a wider field of view. So that's why astronomy, mostly. Although the Orion Nebula through the XW is superb. Uh, I have used it in the uh, four and a half inch ED refractor and uh, excellent views. Right, uh, finally, oh, I also forgot I have these um, Stratus eyepieces. So these are the, so we begin with the short end, three and a half mil. We have the five millimeter. The eight. And the 13. So nearly all of them hovering around the 400 grams or so mark. Um, either leaf is very good, 20 millimeter IP, either leaf. Uh, they all have 68 degree field of view. And I think these are decent for the price. So they cost about 130 bucks or so each. Um, I got all of mine used except one. Um, yeah. I mean, they're not bad for the price. I think they are fairly okay. They're I think middle of the road, uh, medium right, medium um, um, cost uh, eyepieces, and they're fairly good. I think um, I'll make a separate video maybe with um, the Optimus uh, eyepieces, which I don't have on hand right now. They're packed away in a separate box. Um, yeah, this video was just to show you uh, how these eyepieces look like, and um, yeah. Maybe it will help you make a decision on uh, which one to get. Hope this helps. Bye.